Warzone is brand new and confusing to say the least. In this video, I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks to make your Warzone experience that much better. I hope you can take away at least one thing from this video. First things first, you must create a loadout in the main menu of the Warzone screen so you can buy it at a buy station. Yes, there are preset perk packages and why we can't customize that, that's totally beyond me. Pick what suits you best and make your best class. Remember, if your weapon is max leveled, you can tune every weapon attachment to your liking. When you get to a buy station, there is a gear tab, which gives you access to equipment and UAVs, and a primary weapons tab, which gives you access to your weapons. When you click on the primary weapons tab, there are two categories, custom loadouts and default loadouts. Please pick the custom loadouts one so you can get your gun. Buy stations have your loadouts for $5,000, so you can just get your primary weapons from those buy stations, not your perks, grenades, or even your secondary weapons. At the buy station, you won't see any attachments associated with your guns. I assume this is a glitch right now. Just pick the gun that you know you made the class for, and you'll get your attachments with it. Don't worry. The loadout drop comes at the third circle, and this is where you can get your full loadout, your primary weapons, secondary perks, and nades. After the loadout is hit, you'll see it disappear off the minimap. Don't worry, it's still there. You can still hit it whenever you want. There's a limit to each item at every buy station, so it's not a glitch that you cannot buy a UAV, self-res, or another gas mask. Before I give you more tips, I ask that you please subscribe. It helps the channel grow and it pushes me one step closer to becoming a full-time content creator. Where was I? Oh yes, you need a three armor vest to get the ability to have three plates of health. Your plates bar will change from two plates in blue to three plates in purple when you, act, when you have a three armor vest on. There are three types of backpacks. The one that you spawn in with, a medium backpack, and a large backpack. You can literally stack any items that you want in this backpack. You can have 21 plates, six self revives, whatever you want. With the medium or large backpack, you can also hold a third weapon. If you master the backpacking system, you can actually use this to your advantage based on how the game is playing out. Like, uh, do you need a launcher or a sniper for endgame? You can totally play how you want it to play. Make sure you set your controller settings to prioritize to interact if you want contextual tap. Set your armor plate setting to apply all and turn, on, turn auto deploy parachute off because you don't want to look like a bot deploying your parachute in front of somebody when you jumped off a three foot cliff. AQ compounds and strongholds have insane loot hidden in white chests. If you complete a stronghold, you'll be given a black site key. When you get that black site key, you can go unlock a black site. The black site also has insane loot. In our case, we found an advanced UAV and a minigun. Just keep in mind when you go to the black site, please be prepared. You have to kill like a kajillion AI and a juggernaut. So if you're not ready, you could easily get yourself wiped out of the game right there. You can plate up in the gulag if you find a three plate armor vest in the gulag. That's a thing. Uh, it's randomized every time. I found it a few times. Um, and if you actually happen to win that gulag, you spawn in with your three plate armor vest, which is a pretty cool feature. As of right now, I'm recording this on November 19th. When you respawn from the gulag, you will insta die when you are down by someone else. There is no chance of revival because of a glitch in the game. I hope they get this fixed because I get so tilted by it. Just don't get mad at your friends. Don't. It's the game. Don't worry. Most money stacks you find on the ground are going to be in $100 increments. And for some reason, I don't know why it's so hard to find money in the game, but they wanted to make us find stacks of $100 instead of $500 or $1,000. That said, just complete contracts instead. There are four types of contracts in the game, the one being the bounty. The bounty is the one we all know and love. Go get your kills up. Go get your money up. The second one is Intel. You have to find a computer, upload that data to a tower and whatnot. I personally don't think it's worth the time, except right now, if you are trying to level up your weapons, make sure you have your weapon out while you are completing this contract. You will get 5,000 experience for your weapon when you do this contract as of right now. That, I think that's a glitch in the game. I'm not entirely sure. The third contract is the safe cracker. And in my opinion, the best contract in this game, you can blow up three safes. Every safe has money in it as well as when you finish the contract, you get even more money. I suggest doing this in trios or quads so you can split the work up and you can get it done faster. Keep in mind that C4 that you do place on that safe can kill you, so back away and or go to another room. Lastly, the last contract is the most wanted or the king, what we all know uh, as, and they actually made it like Rebirth. If you open up a chest or you get in a limb, your countdown timer on the most wanted goes down. That's a pretty cool feature, I think. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to give you the class setups unless it absolutely busted and, you know, it, nobody knows about it. I just use what's comfortable for me and what I feel like is best. If 
you wish to get my class setups, I ask you please stop by one of my live streams. I'm live on YouTube and Twitch at the same time every single night. My last set of tips I got for you here is to not go to buy stations that are in the gas. I learned the hard way. Uh -oh. Oh, I'm trying to get Kyle back, man. I can buy a gas mask, right? Where's the butt? It disappeared! Why is it still on the map? I just got so checked. I just got so checked. Why did it disappear? Why, why is it still on the map? And why is it not there? You can interrogate a down enemy so you can highlight the rest of the enemy team. And we found out that interrogation somehow give you god mode. Roll the clip. Dude. That's my building. Time to come he's uh, interrogating, he's interrogating, he's interrogating. LOL. LOL. Yo, 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 what? Can't kill him. I can't- I couldn't kill him when he was there. What? Uh, That's a thing! Was... You can't drive a truck in front of a train? Whoa! And vehicles truly defy physics in this game, so don't really be shocked when something crazy happens to you in a vehicle. <laughs> Yo, what the... If you are experiencing stuttering issues on PC, set your spot cache setting to high or ultra. For some reason, this fixes this set. I don't know why. Don't ask me. It fixes it. If that doesn't work, please set your video memory scale to something lower than 85. It will help you out a lot, trust me. If you feel like you have too much recoil, just change your damn attachments for more recoil control, recoil stabilization. You probably have the wrong attachments on. And if you still feel like you have too much recoil or you can't hit your shots, please check your aim assist settings and make sure they are on. And make sure your FOV is set to affected. If you're affected, if you're not on affected FOV, you're probably experiencing high recoil. Mouse and keyboard players, I'm sorry. I, I'm i not good with the mouse. I'm not good with my wrist and my arm at aiming. Uh, go somewhere else. Maybe hit the aim trainer. I'm not sure. Anyway, if you're having a hard time raising your KD or even winning games, learn to position yourself better to give yourself an advantage on the other team. You don't need to out-aim somebody in most cases in this war zone. If you out-position your opponent, you are going to put yourself in an advantage to win that fight. This will come more natural over time, but you'll understand what goes well, what doesn't go well. Lastly, my last and final tip for you, because the user interface is so garbage, to make inviting your friends easier, make joining your friends easier, in your social menu, please use the showcase tab on the far right, and you're gonna have a normal friends list. Don't ask me why they made it so hard. I don't know either. I know there's a lot of information going on in this video, but these have all made my Warzone experience that much more fun and understandable with my friends. If this video helped, I ask you one more time that you please subscribe to the channel. It's gonna help me fulfill my dream as being a full-time content creator. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.